Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is the second video on the Elemental City and that time I'm gonna try to beat the stage 10 of the Elemental City fire rotation without any limited hero and with 8,000 points in the Sanctuary. My team is close to be the same as the previous stage 5. I'm using the three same heroes at the top here and I changed the two bottom heroes. I'm using Lysander because I'm gonna need a second true damage dealer for this boss otherwise I'm not gonna be able to kill him in time and Mamook because this boss is gonna be really annoying he's gonna revive the heroes the enemies and every time he's gonna use the basic attack he's gonna make them all pursue his main target and so if you don't have Mamook with the taunt and the immortal he is basically gonna one shot one of your hero every time he's gonna use the basic attack or you need to have the damage immunity every turn and this is problematic so Mamook amazing here. Also on the basic attack, he can apply a control effect, and you are gonna you are gonna need some controls to kill the adds. You can kill them only if they are under a control effect. And this is why also Rista is an amazing hero here because on the ultimate he can stun in AOE. But he is an, a hero design for this content especially because he has a block revival in AoE and so the boss won't be able to revive the heroes if you kill them under the block revival status. And so Rista is an amazing hero. He's also here to increase the attack of my Nida with the alliance and to increase her uh, turn meta. And then I have my Nordak to apply the damage immunity and the block debuff on my heroes for two turns, extra shields, and increase the maximum HP of my entire team thanks to the SQD3. And finally, Nita is here to clear waves fast and kill the adds fast on the boss wave. So before starting, have to show you my sanctuary 8,000 points as you can see on the screen. So, let's begin the fight. Okay, so let's begin with that. Increasing my attack, stunning enemies, AoE damage, uh, immunity on my heroes, taunt and immortal on Mamook, and now let's pay attention to enemies because it's really important. All enemies do single target damage, but the drakes. They can attack three heroes randomly. The first one is going to be the main target, so it's going to be Mamook. But then they are going to target two heroes randomly in your team, applying a burn. But if you already have a burn on these heroes, it's going to do a detonation. You are going to take a lot of damage and the Scorpio is going to pursue the heroes in your team on which you have a detonation. So be careful otherwise you might die really fast. And also the dogs here can do a detonation when they attack, heal other heroes. And so when the dog attack, the Scorpio pursued. So be careful about that. I'm going to try to avoid killing them too fast in order to get my cooldowns back for the next wave every time. This is really important. This is why I'm not using the f this first active skill on most of my heroes. Okay, basic attack on the Scorpio. The Scorpio is dead. And now I'm going to focus the one of the Drakes. Okay, one Drake is dead, so I'm going to kill the second one. Using only my basic attacks. Okay, that Drake is dead. So now let's focus the dog. Only one enemy remaining. Hope I have my cooldowns. Second wave. I'm going to repeat the same. So I stun them. Okay, only one is not stunned. I have my cooldown, so I'm going to just repeat the exact same thing as before. Perfect. Now I'm going to focus the Scorpio to avoid the pursuit. Apply the shield basic attack and just repeat that until the end the Scorpio is dead now I'm gonna concentrate on the Drakes but they didn't take many damage so I'm gonna use the ultimate of Lysander that time try to kill the second Drake Refresh the duration of the taunt and the immortal. Try to kill the drake. Okay, I have to use that one more time. And I'm going to use the first active skill that time. The dogs healed too much during the, during the wave. Try to kill one dog. 
I'm gonna need that, otherwise I'm gonna lose my Mamook. So let's kill that dog. Perfect, only one enemy remaining. I'm gonna apply the shield just in case. Basic attack, basic attack. And do only basic attacks until the end of the wave. So let's use that skill with my Rista, increase my attack on all my heroes. Okay, let's deal some AoE damage. Damage immunity. And I'm gonna use the basic attack that time on my Mamok. I can tank the first attack, so it's okay. Okay, that's perfect. Now I'm gonna try to deal some more damage to the Drake. I want to kill him first. Because he is the bigger threat. He's gonna push you one time when the boss is gonna use the basic attack and then he's gonna attack so he's gonna apply twice burns on your heroes and you might die because of that. So pay attention to that. I apply the taunt. Look at that, the pursuit. No, that's not the pursuit, that's a classic attack. So I'm gonna try to kill the drake first. Shield. More damage to the drake. More poisons to the drake. I'm gonna use that. Try to stun them. I need to stun the drake if I want to kill him. So let's hope I can stun him. He's stunned. That's perfect. So I can kill him. And so he won't be revived. Perfect. One enemy dead. Now I just have to be careful to the skills of the boss and of other enemies. So I'm gonna use a basic attack, let's check. My Mamook, I don't have my cooldowns, but I have two turns of uh, buff, so I'm gonna use a basic attack that time. Uh, I'm gonna try to... Uh, should I try to lower the HP of others? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to focus the Scorpio now. He resisted my controls. Look at all the pursuits, this is insane. So, AoE attack. Um, pursuit here. I need to deal more damage to them. So damage immunity on my heroes, the boss is gonna have the ultimate, that's important. I apply the taunt again, and I'm gonna try to lower the HP of the dog. I can't use that. If I'm doing that, I might die, because the boss has the ultimate, and if he crits, on my Rista, then I'm gonna die. Let's try, let's hope I can stun here. Okay, it didn't work. But not bad. Doesn't matter. Gonna kill him after, on the next turn. Okay, they heal themselves a bit. So now that time, let's, finger crossed, hope I can stun them all. Oh, the Scorpio is not stunned. Let's try to horrify him. Perfect! He's under control! Come on, kill him! Okay, he's dead. Scorpio is dead. Now I'm gonna have to kill the dog. He's dead! Only one enemy remaining. That's perfect. Now it should be easier. I think that the dog is not dead forever, that dog, because he dead, he he died during his turn because of dots, okay? So I think he is going to be revived by the boss. We are going to find out. Okay, so now be careful, don't run everything in auto, because remember that if your Rista use that skill, he's gonna lose the buffs, and if you lose your Rista, you are gonna lose a ton of damage on the boss, and that's bad, you want to avoid that. Okay, yeah, you saw, as I was saying, you need to kill them during the effect of the debuff. The dots are not working. So, let's focus the boss. The dog will die later. I'm gonna keep... Should I keep my damage immunity? Let's check. I'm gonna lose the tone, so no, I have to use it now. 
Otherwise, my Mamok is gonna die. Really important to check the skills. And the buff duration. Okay. I apply a shield. Now I apply the taunt again. Ultimate on the boss. A basic attack on the boss. I'm not using the first active skill now. I tongue the attack of the boss. I was close to die. He played it two times in a row. That was bad. Hopefully I'm still alive. Okay, let's apply the taunt again. And that time... I think I'm gonna try to kill that hero. That guy. Now I'm gonna focus the boss. That time I increase my attack. Apply the debuff. Okay, he's not stunned. I can't kill him. Um, keep that skill for later okay he has the horrify so he's dead but the boss is going to revive him later okay so let's do that uh how many turns one turn only but i can use it again at his turn so let's do it i can do that now basic attack ultimate Damage immunity, really important to use that now. More damage. He's gonna revive the dog. 100% he's gonna revive the dog. Basic attack. Yeah, he revived him. Doesn't really matter. So let's use the ultimate. Apply the shield. And let's just continue the fight like this. Let's do more damage. If I kill the boss, he won't be able to revive the dog. And so I'm going to kill the dog right after. It's going to do the same. So let's just concentrate on the boss. He's almost dead. Taunt again. Basic attack. I'm going to have the damage immunity soon. Okay, I'm going to do that skill. Ultimate. Continue. You see, once you kill the others with Rista, then it's pretty easy to, to beat the fight. So, I'm going to apply the damage immunity now, I think. Or just that skill, I'm going to use the damage immunity right after. Otherwise, my Rista might play two times in a row and lose the buffs as before. Normally my Nordak is going to play before the boss. Yeah, that's the case. Damage immunity. And as you can see, I don't have the taunt anymore on my Mamuk. So that's perfect timing. Okay, so I increase my attack. Let's try to stun him. That's perfect. He is stunned, so he's dead. And now let's hope I can kill the boss before he releases his ultimate again. Uh, let's do a bit in auto. Until the turn of Nordak, okay. So I'm gonna have the damage immunity in time, perfect. So now I'm gonna release damage immunity. Perfect, so I can tank, he's gonna revive the dog. The boss is dead, only the dog remaining. I just have to kill him. And the fight is gonna be over. So I have to control him to kill him. Okay, he's dead. That's perfect. 260 turns. And this is the team I used. So, no limited hero, sanctuary, 8000 points. Look at the damage on Nida and Lysander. This is really, really a strong team. So, let's talk about the stats of my heroes. So this is my Nordak, same stats as on the previous video. So I'm using a feather set and a speed set. As you saw before, I had, I have one mythic boots here on him. So this is why he has a lot of speed. And on other uh, equipment, I have a lot of substats, uh, speed substats. So I have 827k HP, 2644 speed. 
and uh, I'm using this echo on him to increase his max HP, but you can replace this echo and use another one instead. If you want to increase his max HP, you can use that one instead. He's gonna have more max HP, and every time he's gonna take a turn, he's gonna inflict 1.6% of his max HP to enemies directly, ignoring the defense. Pretty nice. I'm using these emblems on my Nordak. So he has more HP, really important, and the cooldown reduction can help you a lot. And I'm using this aura, so he has more HP, and the more the HP, the stronger the shield, really important. Next, the hero, my Nita, accuracy set and mastery set, she has 41,500 attack, 2060 speed, 100% effect hit, 150% mastery. I'm using her with this echo so she has more mastery and deal more poison damage. With The team is gonna deal more poison damage. I'm using her with these emblems, everything to increase the dot damage to the left and to the right, some utilities and that one to reduce the cooldowns. And I'm using this aura level 20, this is a legendary aura, but this is my main damage dealer, so normally you want to focus your main damage dealer first. If you have a blue mastery aura, it's gonna do almost the same, okay? So, then, the next hero I showed you, this is my Rista, two speed sets, 40k attack, 2833 speed, a, a bit of crit rate and crit damage, 79% effect hit, um, I, if I show you the gear, I have some mythic p uh, boots also, and I have a lot of speed substats on gear. Emblems, uh, echo, sorry first, this is the echo I'm using, so I have more effect hit and more resistance during the fight. I'm using these emblems, so he has more direct damage and uh, some utilities to the right and more speed. And I'm using this aura, so he has more speed, but this is m more for PvP. Then this is my Mamuk, speed set and feather set, 2,363 speed, 600k HP, the more the HP the better because he provides a shield to your heroes and uh, uh, it's gonna be better to stay alive longer. And I have 53% effect hit, it would be interesting to have a bit more and as you saw 42% healing effect, he can heal a lot with the first exclusive and it was enough, clearly. I'm using this echo so he has more healing effect. These emblems so he he can resist some extra controls. He is not immune to every control, right? So for PvP it's interesting to have that. And uh, support tab to have better heals and better shields, more speed, more effect hit, more HP and uh, cooldown reduction, really important. And I'm using no aura at all. You can use that one to have more heals on your heroes or that one to increase, to heal more your heroes also. Uh, or you can use a combat vanguard or a skill master because I didn't use any uh, during the fight. It would be way better to have one. Here is my Lissander. What the hell? He is lacking a, a set? <laughs> so he was doing a great job, but without a complete set? Okay, it doesn't really matter because he has interesting stats, okay? 40k attack, 1972 speed, he has, he don't need, he don't need, he doesn't need effect hit, and 160% mastery, but it can be way better than that. Look at that, I have a broken set. Hmm, didn't pay attention to that. So, I'm using this echo to increase his mastery. These emblems, same as Nida. And I'm using a blue mastery aura on him. So that was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day, and see you soon. Bye-bye.